If you want to use Yahoo Mail to send your inflatable office and event office emails, then this is how you do it. First, go to mail.yahoo.com and you're going to click or type in your email. Mine's already there, so I can click on it. Next, you're going to put in your password, of course, to log into your mail account. After you've logged into your mail account, we actually want to go to this email address, login.yahoo.com, account, security. Now, you could navigate through their menus and find it, but this is a quick way to get there. Once you're in there, you're going to go down to generate app password hello, and you're going to select other app. Here you can put in whatever you want to put in. We'll put in inflatable office so it makes sense when we look at it later. And then we're going to copy this um, password. Next thing you want to do is you want to check yes. I want to use a custom email server. You can use yes or no for newsletters. Because you're using a Yahoo account, you may have limitations. You may want to check no, but you will get better delivery with yes. Problem is, you may not be able to send all your newsletters out. Choose Yahoo from the list, and it will populate these, which are correct. Paste in your password here. And then, of course, you want to put in the right um, email address for your Yahoo account here. I think that's mine. And then you can click this test button to see if we get it to work. Uh, in my case, it's not working here because we have a different username, a different email. And that was the warning that we got that we have a different email for my company set up. So um, you do need to make sure that your email address for your company preferences, your account preferences email address is the same. So if we were to set that up to be the same, we would go in here, paste it, oops, wrong thing, that's the password. We'll do that right there. And now when we come back, collapse that, and we test log in, it should work. Might have to save and close it first. There we go. So because we had to change the, the email address on the preferences for our account. Um, we had to basically reload this page, doing a save and close, did that. You can see there's no password in here right now, but it is saved. So unless you wanna change the password, you can come in here and edit that stuff, leave that empty and click save. It's not gonna hurt anything. Uh, if you, know, you wanna put a new password in, go for it. You can put your new password in there. It needs to match whatever you set up for the app password. And the nice thing about that is that in the future, if you change your Yahoo password, uh, you are not changing the app password. It will not affect your email from your inflatable office account. All right. Thanks for watching.